It's the sixth race at the Big M. The $500,000 SBOA New Jersey Classic Final and start of the pick four. Top field of three-year-old Pacers set to go for the sixth race. Here they come. They're off. Radar sign guns out. So does 248 General. Challenge from the far outside urged on there as Top Flight moves up on the inside. Radar sign Luke Willett wasting no time taking radar sign right to the top. 248 in a tussle there for the second spot with Top Flight on the inside winning that battle so far. Artesian off to a good start. Fourth General Challenge is fifth. On the outside, Cam's prime time slides in sixth in front of Crystal Art. Then comes Raisin Kane Hanover. Dream Wave near the back with the globe trailing. First quarter was 27. Single file down the back stretch now. And uh, that was 248 taking out 248. Stalled on the outside third. It's Radar Sign leading the way. Radar Sign is in control. Top flight rides his pocket. 248 caught on the outside third. Goes the long mile. Artesian is locked in fourth past the half. Camp's prime time fifth on the outside. It's general challenge sixth as uh, roughly gated when Camp's prime time and off stride. Crystal Art also on a break. Raisin Kane Hanover moves to the inside near the back with Dream Wave and the Globe. The half was 55, so good rating here by Luke Willett and Radar Sign intimidating the field. But top flight looking good in the pocket there for Pierce will wait to pounce. 248 on the outside, hanging in there third, keeping Artesian locked in fourth. General Challenge on the inside, fifth. Dream Wave trying to rally from sixth, a long way back. 122 and 4, 27 4 there for fun. It's radar sign by three, four lengths. Now a charge on the outside from Artesian. Radar sign now put to the test. Artesian and Mike Lachance bearing down on the favorite radar sign. Artesian, the very And four. Seven, the six Artesian, a three year old Bay Colt by Art Escape, out of Hula Dancer by Falcon Sealster, owned by Mark Wojciechowski of Columbus, New Jersey, the trainer Sam DePinto, and for Mike Lachance, his third winner of the night. That's the second straight victory. He won his elimination and also won the Barry's Creek final here at 55 to one. He was nine to two tonight. Third win in five starts the season for the improving Artesian. 150 and four fifths, a new lifetime mark. A $32,000 Tattersall's yearling who held on by a neck over Crystal Art in his elimination, lit up the board in the Barry's Creek at 55 to one. The perfect little horse to drive Willing with good gate speed and likes to rally. The original owner, Donald Brune, passed away recently. His nephew, Mark Wodzichowski, inherited his horses. Sometimes called a lazy colt that needs someone to wake him up. Mike Lachance did that tonight. And Mike Lachance scores his fifth New Jersey Classic victory. It's official, six, Artesian. Was Dave Brower's selection paying 1120, 280, and 220. Number one, radar signed 220 and 210, and the eight Dream Wave, $5. The Exacta, 61, 618, Trifecta, 334, 40. Superfecta 6187, $802.80. The pick three, five, one, and six pays two hundred one forty. Post time for the seventh race, 947 in 16 minutes. So, Michael Chance, an owner. Mike, first things first, you drove this horse back four starts ago. What do you remember about Artesian? What did you think coming into the race? Well, uh, that's not the, the way I thought about him uh, starting. It's the way, they, the way he raced his last three start. You know, he's been, he's been uh, on top of his game. And uh, I know the way he raced last week. I just had to get him into the race and uh, wait for the stretch there. Very important here, the first turn, you sat inside and kept the hole closed. 
Yeah, definitely. I, I knew I had to be close to the front there. And you had one up at a good trip. Luke was parking. Uh, Rene Poulos' horse said, Tell, take us to the top of the stretch when you finally got out. Well, uh, I didn't think I was going to get to him because he, he, he already opened like four lengths on me, uh, maybe five lengths. But he was digging in at the end, and he was facing right to the wire. You won now five New Jersey Classics. Does this Artesian rank up there with some of the others? Oh, definitely. Yeah, he's very handy, and he's got quick, uh, quick speed, and uh, he's tough. He, keeps, he, he's, uh, he reminds me of his father, Art Escape. And in the track condition tonight? Well, it's, it looks worse than what it is. The, 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 the bottom of the track is hard, but it's still, uh, it's still that there's a footing that the horse could grab the track. Okay, Michael Chess, congratulations. Another New Jersey Classic. Sam DePinto, you're first. Sam, uh, we were talking before about Artesian being something of a lazy horse sometimes. How do we keep him going? It's not easy. <laughs> Just got to stay on top of him. And in barn notes this week, it said, I think you said you want to get a nice close-up trip and be able to race at the end of it. That's what happened. Exactly. Mike drove him perfect. He couldn't get a better drive than that. Perfect. Now, tell us about, a little bit about Artesian. You won the Berries Creek. Now you're here in Classic Winter Circle. What's up next? Uh, the North American Cup. And, and then we come back here for the Meadowlands Pace. Okay. I see one owner's name listed, but about 50 people in Winter Circle. What's up with that? That's all his connections, his friends and uh, family and... Okay, well, let me get Mark over here right now. Thanks so much, Sam DePinto. Mark, for those people who don't know, tell us again, how did you wind up getting this horse? Uh, my Uncle Donnie gave it to me when he passed away. And uh, Don loved this thing. I mean, he loved this horse so much. And, you know, I've had a bunch of people offer to buy it this week, and there was no way. Would you have imagined when you got this horse that you'd be in the Berries Creek and the Classic Winter Circle? I didn't even know what they were. To tell you the truth, I mean, my uncle was really a horse guy, and, I mean, he got me involved. But I'm so busy. I mean, I flew in. I landed in Philly at 5.30 today and drove up here. But uh, I knew he had a shot, and I was just, had my fingers crossed. It's safe to say that you and your friends all know what these races are now, and can we assume that we'll all be back here for maybe some more horses, too? Yeah. Going to Canada next. I'm not too thrilled about that, but... Okay, well, you've been in New Jersey Winter Circle here a couple times. Congratulations, Mark, and all your fa fans here, and uh, hopefully we'll see you back again soon. Okay, thank you.